Well, we've certainly talked a lot about humans getting vaccinated against COVID, but what about animals? Yeah, wild animals. Last week, we told you about animals at the Woodland Park Zoo getting their first doses of the vaccine. The zoo gave us this video here showing this process happening. That's Godek, uh, the orangutan. Gorillas, lions, tigers, snow leopards, otters, just a few of the animals in the process right now getting vaccinated. And here to tell us more about how these vaccinations work is Dr. Tim Storms, Director of Animal Health at Woodland Park Zoo. Dr. Storms, thanks for joining us. Thank you. Thank you for having me. So the vaccinations have already started happening. You've got more today. Tell us how many animals are going to be vaccinated and why is it so important to vaccinate these animals? Well, we're doing a, a nearly 50 animals all, all together. Um, today, there's going to be 10 animals receiving their second vaccination, um, including Godek, who you just saw in that video. Um, <clears throat> and it's important because we have seen animals uh, in zoos become sick with COVID-19, including um, big cats and gorillas notably, but a few others as well. Yeah, that's just, I, you don't think about this. So do they get vaccinated the same way humans do? What, is it Moderna? Is it Pfizer? <laughs> it's neither of those. It's a particular vaccine produced by a company called Zoetis, who has produced this for donation to zoos. So over 10,000 doses um, zoos all across the country and um, it works similarly it's a similar type of technology but it's distinct from the human vaccine gotcha. okay how have the animals who have <clears throat> gotten covid been diagnosed with uh, covid and what has their response been so most of them um, it came up because of symptoms so um, similar symptoms to humans mm. coughing sneezing um, t lethargy um, general malaise that kind of thing um, there are tests available similar to people. There's a PCR, there is serology, um, and there have been a few deaths, but for the most part, these have been self-limiting infections that have not caused that. And is it That's as good. contagious with the other animals, I mean, with this virus? Some of that we don't know because mm. there has been sporadic infections. There's just not enough data to be sure about that, but the suspicion is that it does seem to be contagious and work its way through a group. Interesting. So we saw Godek, uh, the orangutan, Right here, uh, getting getting <laughs> vaccinated. Uh, are, are, it's kind of a silly question, but are animals afraid of needles like humans are? How do you make? How do you do this process? How does this even work? So curious. Well, one advantage with animals is they don't have a conceptual fear of it. You know, so there's no um, sense of being afraid of the object itself mm. or <clears throat> that it might hurt. Interesting. But they know once they get pricked that there's a, there's a potential sensation there. But it's really a process of getting them used to and leading up to that point. And then that last bit where they mm -hmm. actually get a poke is a surprise. But we've done wonderful work with the animals getting yeah. most of them ready to be able to be hand injected without any sort of restraint, any sort of, um, you know, coercive action at all. And as you saw in the video, I mean, Godek is perfectly eager to put his arm up and get the, <laughs> get the shot. More eager than my kids. Yeah. <laughs> which animals get vaccinated and which don't? So we made a decision to focus on <clears throat> related animals to those that have become sick, um, mm -hmm. previous infections elsewhere or in the literature. So big cats and gorillas, and then we extended it to all apes, are pretty much the main numbers that have gotten infected. Um, dogs and do cats, domestic animals, have gotten sick, so we included uh, canids, which is wolves, mm -hmm. and the fox that you saw in the video. And then um, mink have been particularly affected in uh, in this country and so we included animals related to mink which are otters mm -hmm. ferrets would also be included vaccinating yeah. a wolf have you sent us that video as well <laughs> <laughs> when we do that? Yikes. yeah obviously I, I don't know if you could speak to this as well but i'm wondering if people at home are, are asking this question we're vaccinating the zoo animals what about pets is there a future for vaccinating cats and dogs that people might have at home i don't know it's yeah. not really my field okay. of expertise in terms of pet vaccination um, but i would imagine that it may make its way there um, this there it's not currently available, but um, I, I think there would be a rationale for it. I, I would think. Yeah. Interesting stuff, Dr. Storms sure from Park Zoo. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank really you very much.